got another addition the bones family this is an arbutus look at the look at the awesome blast on that let me see if i can catch some light there this side especially look at the blast you know from a distance it just kind of looks like it might be a bent uh kind of a bent billiard but let's see if i can find an angle where you really see that there's this there's my battery griping at me. Um, it's it's kind of got this little flare at the bottom that just, where it's like a, I think it's technically a bent apple. It's just a, a hair taller than I think the picture of the one, or maybe it's just the angle on his site. But uh, he was nice enough to gift this to me. Um, I had one that was a good pipe and I loved it and I sent it back with a little small issue and he took care of it and made it literally better than new and had it back in a matter of a couple of days. Hell of a guy. Hell of a generous guy. And sent me some beef jerky. Good lord. Never order a Bones pipe without ordering beef jerky. The fact that you can order a pipe and beef jerky in one place is pretty awesome. But I'm a qualified fat guy and let me just say that is some good jerky. Not too salty. Not too bland, not too hard, not too soft. I mean, like, I've made deer jerky before, and it's a pain in the butt. And if I was going to make some jerky, that would be what I was shooting for. I mean, it's just wonderful stuff. And, uh, of course, I'm a fat guy, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rant and rave about the quality of the jerky. But the quality of the pipe, oh, man. I've never had Arbutus before. And it's a little bit different. It tends to get a deeper blast, and they usually have to dial back the pressure because it wants to blast really deep and you don't get you know which you can watch his video on it you know you don't tend to get a lot of little pits or anything in it uh, but it tends to blast really deep and unique grain structure this one is literally I think this is the fifth bowl I've smoked through it it's already coloring really fast I love that bit it's just the perfect bend on it um, and he didn't have to do any of that. I mean, he just, his customer service was above and beyond uh, what you could hope for or expect from anybody, let alone on like a $40 freaking pipe. Uh, my first pipe from him was a uh, Bulldog. In fact, here it is. It's, I've had it a while, so it's really colored. And I've had many, many, many great smokes out of it. Um, Nice knock around pipe, you know, you don't have this, you know, fancy finish to worry about, but it just, it feels good. The tactile sensation of just having some traction on it. This one, even better because of the uh, slightly exaggerated blast on it. Just wonderful. Smokes great. Just love it. This is like my favorite pipe now. And like, it's just awesome. The one I actually sent back is his version of an author and i absolutely love it i actually have a 320 and i like this one better it actually smokes better it smokes more like a 673 uh, because it's got a narrower chamber and a little deeper than a 673 and i've smoked one bowl through this one so far because i can't put the arbutus down it's just wonderful and but this smokes fantastic he went from like a 532nd to I think an 1164 draw and he was able to get like another degree or so to bring it down it was a little high and it just the way it came out is just so perfect the draw on it is just awesome and it's a beautiful pipe and it doesn't have much color yet because I've only smoked it once but beautiful beautiful pipe so those are the bones I own currently um, and this one I tell you, there's a few things about Arbutus that I'm finding. One is when it's brand new and it comes with a bare chamber, uh, as you break it in, it has a different flavor than Briar. And in the beginning, it's definitely more pronounced, or at least this particular one was is. I'm sure they're all a little different. But so my recommendation is find something that smokes, you know, fairly cool or at least not hot, but go with a full, fla a fuller flavor, or at least a medium flavor to break it in. Uh, because you get a lot of that taste and I don't mind it. It's a little strong for the first few bowls um, And as it fades, I'm at like I said, I'm just finishing bowl five and it's already starting to fade down 
it's kind of grown on me to where I'm okay if it never fades completely out because it's it's very pleasant and it's impossible for me to describe it. It's not really like a cedar taste, but it's not like an oaky taste or a bitter taste or a sweet taste. It's just, I don't know. It's kind of to me almost like if cedar and cherry and briar had a bastard child that was really light and blasted really pretty. I don't know. It's just, it's its own thing. So I can't really find anything I can directly compare the flavor to. But again, you know, I'm literally not six bowls in yet. So I'm sure that's going to continue to fade as all of the oils get in and crystallize and carbonize and oils and sugars from the tobacco and start plugging those pores up. Uh, you know, and a little cake, sure, but, you know, mostly just that thing that happens, you know, and, um, you know, you can put a carbon coating on a bowl, and that has a flavor, too. Bear Briar has a flavor, too. This has a much different flavor, and I would say that brand new, it is more pronounced, but as it dials back, uh, it's, I find it very pleasant. So, to me, like, I'm a, I'm almost hoping that there's always a slight hint of that, even as it seals itself up and cakes over and stuff. Um, I don't build up much cake because I tend to pipe cleaner stuff out and wipe it down and all that. So, but, you know, even a cob, you know, it does that caramelizing kind of thing. And then, you know, one, another thing I'm finding about Arbutus is it is very dry smoking, even as a bent pipe. Um, but more so than any difference you'll notice while you're smoking it, after you pipe clean it out, uh, if you shake it down or blow and, you know, mop, you know, whatever out, you know, because I tend to smoke a little too fast sometimes. Um, once you pipe cleaner this thing out and you set it down, you pick it back up and look at it, it's dry already. It's just a, it seems to be a very fibrous wood that really just wicks moisture in and or dries quickly. So uh, I don't have enough time to know if that is a thing it's just always going to do or if it just does that new because it's not sealed over yet. But um, I'm really digging this. I had looked at these and I was just, I'm a new enough smoker. I didn't know if I knew enough to go outside of Briar or Cobb because I've, you know, you just read the stuff that people regurgitate that somebody else said about, well, they burn out faster than this or that. Well, if you burn out a Bones, a Morgan Bones, he'll replace it anyway, or at least, you know, he'll make it right one way or the other. And honestly, I have three of the pipes. I've smoked the crap out of this Bulldog. I don't see how you're going to burn one out unless you're blowtorching it or something or doing something you shouldn't be doing because they're, they tend to be the kind of pipes I like, which are fairly beefy, you know, stout pipes. So I don't think you're really going to have a problem with this being a slightly different material. And uh, it's different. And, you know, we have so many pipes that Briar itself can be different from pipe to pipe. But this is kind of its own thing. Um, and I really like that thing, whatever it is. So I, I may actually have some more Arbutus pipes in the future. I may order another one of these eventually, just because I don't know if, you know, when these dry up, how long it will be till he gets more in, because it's, I think it was kind of a rare circumstance where he was able to get some really nice Arbutus at a, at a deal and brings, have some of these made uh, for very reasonable money. And Morta is another weird material that I'm interested in trying. You know, I just think it's neat to have some pipes that are something different and, uh, you know, this is just seems to be a really unique and interesting material. It's a little lighter than Briar. Of course, Briar, you know, can be different weights. So there again, it's, it's not night and day different. It just seems to be its own thing. But I really enjoy this pipe. I'm really enjoying the other pipe. Uh, Chris Morgan in my book is one hell of a guy. Takes care of his customers and makes some wonderful pipes. And I think I like both of these better than my Savinelli's. And I love my Savinelli's. So, you know, a little bit of a free commercial there. But um, definitely a heck of a nice guy. Uh, if you ever do have an issue with this pipe, you're not going to get a 40 or $50 pipe level of service. You're going to get an artisan level of service, which is crazy. Because these are entry-level affordable pipes. But they're not cheap pipes. They're really nice pipes. Um that are just, you know, it's the stuff that matters that you need in a pipe without all the fancy schmancy, you know, this loose sight and that fancy finish. 
But honestly, when you get down to what you really enjoy having in your hand when you smoke, I love beautifully finished woods. I do woodworking is one of the things that I do. And I enjoy beautiful pipes. I enjoy beautiful lucite. But when you really just want to enjoy a good smoke, something that fills the hand and, and fits, like this just locks in. And I'm not much of a clincher, but it clenches well. It's light for as beefy as it is. I mean, it's obviously thinnest at the top, and it's still pretty beefy at the top if you look. So you can imagine it's much thicker walled going down. And yet, this is as light as like a little Dr. Graybo, you know, tiny pipe. It's just crazy. It's awesome. I like it. And it's breaking in wonderfully. There's no side charring or charring anywhere going on. So I don't see that there would be much difference as far as longevity or toughness or resistance to carbonizing or anything. If anything, I'm seeing better results so far. Of course, I'm only five bowls in, but I tend to be a little bit of a fast smoker. I'm the guy that's gonna notice if it chars fast. So um, I think as long as you're reasonable and you don't completely choo-choo it, um, don't be afraid of the Artemis because it is a unique and wonderful material for a pipe, apparently. And I have no doubt that the reason that he put out a line is because he got his hands on some really good examples of of that material and it is just a really great buy and like I said he gifted this to me who gives you a free pipe for being a pain in the butt with hey this pipe is basically okay but I'm not really crazy about the way this draw is on this $40 entry level pipe price wise and I mean he basically this thing outsmokes my 320 and both of my 673s now. Um, it's wonderful. And this is just flat. I can't even tell you which one is my favorite, but I love this thing. And uh, I'll, I'll probably do an update after I feel like it's really broken into where it's going to be. You know, like 20, 25, 30 bowls in, something like that. And kind of let you know how the flavor has leveled out or completely dissipated or, or what it does there. But I actually would be completely satisfied if there's a little bit of trace of that natural flavor still there because it's pleasant to me. Um, it's it's a little high to be pleasant for the first few bowls, but a lot of people feel that way about briar, period. Um, I don't seem to notice the briar. I seem to notice the coatings a little more, and not always because I don't think it's the coating. Carbon is carbon, but I think whatever that company or maker uses to bind the carbon to the sides of the bowl. I think that's what we really taste and maybe have a dislike for. And I think that's probably a little different from maker to maker. Um, this one actually is carbon coated, which is not a common thing in a bones, but he, he has these made in Italy and those guys are just some carbonizing loving folks over there. And this one breaks in fine. It's no different than any other you know, of my Italian pipes as far as breaking. Um, this one, it's a little different ride with a little different flavor, but I think the end result uh, will definitely be well worth it. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful material. So I'm looking forward to seeing how it continues to break in. I mean, it's, I tend to have that body chemistry that colors things that are unfinished pretty quickly anyway, but my God, do you see the different colors and stuff? coming out of that already beautiful i mean you can definitely tell that's that's where my thumb goes <laughs> but it's a beautiful beautiful material and a beautiful beautiful pipe from a guy that really takes care of his customers and is just ridiculously generous um, i mean he didn't have to do that but i'm very glad that he did he's a hell of a nice guy um and i've never had a pipe owner an owner of a company for anything find me on social media and contact me immediately when he found out I was unhappy and call me like and then call me when he got the pipe I sent this out Friday priority from Alabama to California and I had it back that Wednesday and he actually fixed it himself uh, hell of a guy get you a Chris Morgan uh, bones pipe or any of his products because you've got something that's well worth whatever you pay for it, and you definitely have a good guy with a good company standing behind you. That's all I have to say. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving, and uh, keep on enjoying the long weekend. Peace out, guys.